Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I am Brittany Lupton, if you're new here, and welcome to my kitchen. Listen, today we're gonna to be testing some more healthy TikTok recipes, which I'm pretty excited about. I've got a feeling these are all gonna be fire. So we've got four recipes coming up. We're gonna start off with a frozen yogurt bar because I want this one to chill and it's probably gonna take the longest to chill. I believe I first saw this from Rachel John. I found Rachel's video. I don't see like any measurements, but it looks like she just mixes honey in with the yogurt, puts it in a thing and then tops it with frozen berries and granola. So that's what I've got. Let's head to the kitchen and get some ingredients while well, we're in the kitchen. The fridge. <laughs> July 22, it's July 22nd. Do I risk it? So, doing it anyways, okay? So I've got that of vanilla Greek yogurt. I've also got frozen mixed berries. It looks like what she used. Honey, this is actually fresh from the farmer's market, so it's natural from Michigan. All honey is natural, but you know what I mean? Like it's fun when it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Local, local honey. And last but not least, granola. Wow, do you think my family likes granola? The answer is yes. So to me, it just looks like she mixes the yogurt with the honey in the bowl and then tops it with the frozen berries and granola and freezes it. So I'm gonna do exactly that. So now I'm gonna lay some parchment paper. My hands are freezing from that. Now we're gonna pop this in the freezer. I don't know how long it's gonna take to freeze. 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, two hours. Let's pop it in the freezer and then make recipe number two. Number two is a summer watermelon salad. Now, I don't like salads, but this is like a fruit salad, so it's not an actual salad. And I first found this recipe from Nona. I don't know if it's originally her recipe, but I came across hers on TikTok, semi-viral, so let's make it. In her video, it looks like she uses one mini watermelon, strawberries, cucumbers, feta, a little bit of olive oil, salt, and then mint in a little balsamic. We'll see how this turns out. I am pretty excited. So let's get all of the ingredients out. So I started by getting this bowl that I'm just gonna put all of it in. Look at that. Yay! Oh my gosh, it smells so good. What the heck? Okay, so some of these I'm gonna have to go back and cut to make them a little better. Also, I'm not sure exactly how many strawberries. I don't know, a little bit more than a handful. Next up are these mini cucumbers. I'll do like these two little skinny guys. some of this feta on top. Grabbing a fork, let's give this a taste test because I might need to add some more things. Also, I'm realizing I did not add the olive oil, so let's get a bite of everything. The balsamic, the feta, the cucumber. Okay. Whoa, holy cow. That is so good and so refreshing. Whoa, it's like crunchy, tangy, sweet. Everything plays so well together. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This has no right being that good. What the heck? Get out of here. You definitely have to make this, it's so freaking good. Hey guys, Darian just came home. He's gonna taste test the one that I just made. 
Say hi, Darian. Hey, guys. I literally just put it in the fridge because I was going to start recipe three. Okay, close your eyes. You can't even look. I think I kind of saw it, but I... You have no idea what you're about to eat. Okay, we gotta get everything on the on the fork. Let me show the camera. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's really good. <laughs> that's so okay. good. I thought it was gonna be watermelon and feta. Yeah, it is. It but I taste strawberry in there. Cause yeah. that's what it looked like. Dude, the strawberry adds a great pop. Holy cow. The strawberry and the cucumber. Yeah, that is really good, you guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Set the camera up. Isn't it so good? Wait. And it's balsamic, so it's balsamic feta, oh. a little bit of mint. Yeah, you taste the mint, but it's not too much. How did you, did you just make that up? Oh, no. okay. I mean, still, that's really good. Holy cow. And that's so good. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, I have one more bite, and then I'm gonna put it away. We're gonna have Vinny eat it too. Vinny's taste testing. Oh, that's really good. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Hey, good to see you guys. Okay, you guys, our third recipe is the famous cowboy caviar, which is something that Darian's stepmom has made. So the whole two years while we lived in Arizona, like every Sunday, every family meal, she would always have cowboy caviar, which is near and dear to my heart. So when I saw Brianna make this viral, I was like, let's go. Who doesn't freaking love cowboy caviar? So when it comes to ingredients, everything that you'll need is a can of black beans. You'll need a can of black eyed peas, a can of corn, red onion, lime, an avocado or two, depending how much avocado you like, bell peppers, tomatoes, cilantro, salt and pepper, and jalapeno. And I will just add everything into a big giant bowl. So we'll do all the easy stuff first and then we'll start chopping all of the ingredients. taste it and see what else I kind of want to add into it. It's getting there. Just need to add more salt, a little bit more tomato. So I did grocery pickup and the avocado is not ripe enough. And I'm disappointed because this really needs avocado. I tried to cut this, but do you see how hard it is? It cut right through the pit. So avocado is a no-go. That would make this even better. We have recipe number four, which are oat chocolate chip bars. This is gonna be more of a dessert, a fun little treat that you might make throughout your day. Oat chocolate chip bars should be good. But for this, we've got oats, maple syrup, peanut butter, vanilla, baking powder, and then a little bit of salt. Oh, and chocolate chips, of course. Now, when I bake, I typically like to use normal cow milk. I feel like it tastes better when it's baked but that is a personal preference. The recipe called for milk, not like specifically almond milk or oat milk, but I'm pretty sure you could substitute it. Also, there are no eggs in this, so technically this could be vegan. Also, the oven is preheated to 375 and I have a grease nine by nine pan. This recipe has over 10.4 million views on TikTok and it was initially from Faith's Fresh page. I mean, they look pretty darn good to me, so I'm excited. Regular oats. Now I'm gonna mix one and a half cups of milk. Next, it calls for a third cup of peanut butter. Yum. Next up is a half cup of maple syrup. Now it calls for a teaspoon of baking powder and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Put a little bit of salt in my hand and tap it right in. Now I'm gonna mix it and all I have to do is add the chocolate chips now. Okay, initial thoughts, it looks pretty liquidy, but I'm pretty hopeful. If 
That tastes so good. I'm gonna now put this in the oven for 35 minutes at 375 and 35 minutes can't pass soon enough because I am so excited to try this out. It's good. Initial thoughts, 7.5 out of 10. Guys, I just pulled the yogurt bark, I think that's what they call it, out of the freezer. I am so excited to try this out. So I'm gonna pull it out of the tin and cut it and then give it a taste test. And then when everyone, Vinny wakes up and when Darian comes home, everyone else will try it too, so. Keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I am so curious to taste this and see. That's good. That is really good. It's not like my absolute favorite thing I've ever had in my entire life, but that is still worthy of making and really delicious. It honestly tastes exactly like it sounds. It is just frozen yogurt with berries and granola. The granola is so good with it though. Vinny has officially woken up from his nap and Darian has come home from school in the gym. So now we're taste testing these all together. I completely forgot to turn my microphone on, which makes me so sad that you can't hear the whole conversation going on. But the yogurt bark wasn't as big of a hit with Darian or Vinny, but they both loved the oatmeal chocolate bars, especially Vinny. He is digging in and absolutely loves them. All right, you guys, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed some of these healthy summer recipes inspired by people I've found on TikTok. So try these recipes out. Let me know how you like them. If you have tried them out, which is your favorite? Which are you trying first? If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Listen to my podcast every single Wednesday. If you wanna train with me, I now have an app. Train with me on the app. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.